Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment we're going to learn all about how to grow a pansy or viola or violet, one of my favorite plants. Now in Greek mythology, the violet was the flower of Aphrodite, the goddess of love, and her son Priapus, the god of gardens. So the Greeks named the violet the symbol of Athens. So in back in Greek times, the violet was associated with the royal family and with the government and with the country of Greece. Now I like to associate violets with my name Yolanda because my name Yolanda actually means a violet I guess back from the Greek times and it is also closely related to the royal family. The violet is closely related to human history and it is found all over the globe in almost every continent except Antarctica you can find a violet. So I found that violets will grow almost anywhere into sun or shade. They don't really need to have full sun. They'll grow in quite a bit of shade if it's a little bit on the warm side or protected side. They don't want deep, deep, deep forest with no sun at all. But as long as you've got a little bit of sun, they will grow. And my theory is if weeds will grow, a violet will grow. So anywhere that weeds will grow, you can get a violet to grow. So you can start them by seed in the spring or you can just break the plants by division because they multiply very quickly. So as long as you've got a stem and a root, you can replant that and it'll grow and bloom all summer long. And I love them. They bloom through the fall and they're so dependable and they're hardy from zones three to nine. They reseed themselves. So they're an annual, but they're also a perennial. Violas or pansies need a lot of water when they're in bloom because if you let them dry out, you lose them. So violas need a lot of water to do well when they're in bloom, but you never want them sitting in water. They make great house plants too. You can just take one in a pot, but make sure they never sit in water and they never get dried out too much. And you can just pinch back the blooms as they're done and they'll keep blooming and keep blooming and just pinch out some of the leaves as they turn yellow and they'll keep producing more leaves. They're a very rewarding plant for your garden.